What's up? Blake Rodriguez with Dream Come True Canine. First off, these are gonna be our new coats, our new company coats. We're getting them logoed over here, and then the back is gonna be all logoed, but I bought the entire staff winter coats. Got their sizes and everything, so I'm actually pretty pumped about that. These are super warm, waterproof. There's a lining, you can wear them separate. Um, couple things that we're doing. Um, I'm gonna show you Penny over here. Having some fun with Penny who's at the point where she's starting to be able to see dogs, even reactive dogs. That dog's very, very reactive across the street. Yeah, we, well, we've been MIA here on Periscope, been doing a lot of stuff on Facebook. Um, got some new videos prepped on, uh, getting prepped on YouTube and just been doing, we've been so busy at the training center that um, it's, it's been a little bit tough to, uh, to, to kind of stay on tap. So I'm gonna show you this here because this is actually gonna be interesting. This dog's gonna be reactive, I already know. So we're gonna start with a recall. For Penny, Penny, here, good girl. Nope. So she should run on by. Sit. Hey. Good. So this will be interesting when. Oh, she actually decided to walk over that way. But uh, what we were gonna do is body movement is very important, especially when you're looking at distractions. There's bits interesting that I. Well, we just started, Mr. Six. We didn't. We didn't do uh, much unless unless you got to take off. What's really really interesting that I notice is. More often than not, people will spend time getting in between the distraction. Meaning, if the dog is here and she's looking at the dog over there, instead of me being here and giving her something else to choose at, meaning if I'm the dog, I can choose to focus at you or I can choose to focus at the distraction. More often than not, people will try to get in the way of the dog and the dog looks through you. When you teach pretty, pretty solid recall, when she's looking over here, I will actually walk away and call her, right? So, Penny, let's go, girl. And she can come on over this way. Nope, let's go. Good. And right now, this is this is a pretty loose, loose kind of recall. This is, this is kind of our let's go. And you know, let's say that was a distraction there and she's hunting for, I, I don't know, like a rabbit or something, even though there's no rabbits here. I can kind of let her smell. This is the thing that a lot of people don't practice. They don't practice working in a sterile environment to get the communication really clear first. And I, I, I left this example on one of our Facebook pages. More often than not, people try to give direction in a language that the dog doesn't understand. So I've used this analogy before. It's like, um, I'm about to walk you through how to change the oil on your fancy car, which is different from most cars. And I'm going to walk you through doing that in a language that you don't speak. You realize how difficult that is. So more often than not, people are introducing like prong collars, remote collars, food, all this stuff without teaching the language. And they're trying to use those things to help with behavior problems. It's really, really difficult. So working in a sterile environment, away from distractions, getting it really, really clear. It's the drizzling has kind of stopped a little bit. That's, that puts you in a position that when you're finally able to call them off with distractions, you slowly work on things. So this dog came in really, really highly stressed and anxious, and there's still some anxiety that that's going to need work. But we have a dog that's for right now. This is this is a distraction in itself. So I'm gonna, I was going to call her, but I'm going to let her poop, and I'll pick that up a little bit later. But working with distraction of the nose if i can have her getting to the point where she's smelling something i can call her out if i can call her off of food if i can do those things then i'm in a position to now be able to call her off of other things you know what i mean and that's something that a lot of people don't don't practice and i think they rush into so before giving direction in a language to change oil or, or before i even get you to the point where i'm like hey we're gonna go and change oil let me at least make sure you speak the language that i'm gonna try to get you to 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 uh, listen to right i mean it, it just only makes sense so all right she's done over here show you we're gonna get her nose kind of working her nose is over there penny let's go good girl and you see you get that type of response now the let's goes i just want directional change she's looking at that guy penny let's go nope good girl right now if i want specific recalls penny here nope and then we work on the eye contact it's not perfect there's a lot going on hey there we go. That's okay. Fine. Okay. Go ahead. I'm really trying to fine tune this a little bit. It's kind of hard with my camera here. I'll show you right now. Penny, here. 
see her head turning a bit. Hey. So, not perfect, but there is a lot kind of happening right now. Okay. And just kind of free. So, no, I just wanted to kind of work with her, not on specific kind of recalls in, but just getting her to be able to see stuff in the distance. Uh, oh, of course, absolutely. Yeah, yeah, she needs that help. You know what I mean? I, I can call her without it. Like, I mean, I'll show you right now if I'm not using that and she'll pretty much come. Like, I mean, at this point, it, it, it's not that she needs this, right? Penny, here. You see, so I didn't press. I don't know if you guys are able to see that. Nope. So working on her precise recalls and actually getting her in. Hey, is something that I'm going to want to actually perfect. And you can do that with food. I can start working her out here. I haven't done that. But for, for the most part, I just want to know that if she's focused over there, whether I use this or not, I'll hold it here so you can see. Penny, let's go. That she can actually respond that way, right? If you're not getting that type of response, it's kind of tough to do anything. And then you can do long line work. And, and food really helps to shape um, having a dog come in here. Um, so, like, I can show you. If I really want her to be solid on that recall. Penny here. We can get that there and I really, my body language and everything. But for right now, I'm just looking for a very, very basic kind of let's go. Let's go. Because she's wandering. I know that I have the type of dog that if I want to stop walking in this direction and now I want to do this. Penny, let's go. Good girl. I can get her back and I can also she understands this language so even though i don't need this to recall her like right here penny let's go the girl nope come on and i can start walking away so this is great for my clients because i can create a non-confrontational situation where i don't have to run after my dog i realize the distractions over there and she's looking i don't have to chase my dog i can actually walk away penny here so i'm actually gonna bring her back into me that's how I use the remote. Good girl. And she just kind of chills out. Okay. All right, this is really, really important. That's why recall is so valuable. It's like, it, it, it makes you, it really makes you relevant. Um, yeah, so, I mean, this is just something I was doing. It wasn't a planned Periscope session. Um, you can see she's, she's also here for like human aggression and stuff. She sees just a person kind of walking around and she's getting to the point where she can look and not care. But if she was looking and it was a concern, I can actually call her away, right? So she's gonna pee right there. She's gonna look at that guy. Penny, the girl, like this is, that's just a loose recall, right? That's not, I don't need her coming to me there. Um, this is it. So yeah, I didn't have a planned Periscope session. I was just doing this stuff with her and I figured I'd have you guys, uh, uh, I just shared this with you guys and just see it. Nothing crazy. That, that's a cool thing about Periscope. You're seeing a lot of stuff that's not prepped for perfection. You know what I mean? It's just, hey, this is what I'm doing. If there's errors and it's not perfect, you guys get to see it. So I hope you enjoy that. And that is pretty much it. Let's actually, let's try to get a, more of a precise recall out of her right now. Let's see if we can get this. So she's smelling over there. Penny here. That time. I'm actually gonna use the remote there. Come here. Nope. So I want this. All right. So now I'm gonna start feeding her. I think for the rest of the week, I'm gonna start working her for her meals out here. So she starts really, really dialing in right here and get that um, where I need her because being able to call her off of that, you see it was perfect, 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 but it still needs work because she made that more of a priority. She basically, at said yeah i hear you but hold on one second i got something going on right here and even though this is important let me uh try and fix my camera here even though what she was doing wasn't a problem that is something that i think is actually really important if she's not going to respond to me or she doesn't mean it but has the nerve to actually put me on hold and say yeah i hear you but hold on i'm in the middle of something what do you think she would do if she saw a dog over there or if she saw a person or if she saw a rat who knows like whatever whatever your dog might be struggling with that's why that situation you have to take that seriously it doesn't mean you have to correct her but you have to follow through and get her to realize hey listen even when you're in the middle of something when you hear me calling you that takes priority right i can tell you right now if i was in high school 
and I was like really tired and it was the end, it was about to be 2.30, we were about to get out of here and I hear over the loudspeaker, the principal, Blake Rodriguez, come to the office. I'm not gonna tell my teacher, hey, let him know, I'll see him a little bit later, I'm kinda tired right now. Like, no, I'm getting my ass over to the principal's office, right? So that's like 100% of the time, that's the type of recall that, that we're teaching. And I mean, this is a dog that I would imagine the owners never dreamed could even be in an off-leash setting and we've seen dogs we called her off. Um, so I'm pretty happy with that. Still a little bit of work. She's she finishes up on Saturday. I mean, this is a dog that wanted to kind of kind of bite me and and my dog. And now she's she's gonna get in a socialization room with some other dogs. We might do a scope on that in a little bit. And then we have dog behavior question Tuesday coming up. For those of you guys that are not familiar, or this is your first time uh, tuning in, my name is Blake Rodriguez. I'm based out of New York City, Manhattan. Uh, we have a two floor dog training facility in the Lower East Side of Manhattan. I do travel for my work. Um, all over. I'll be in Florida in January. I'll be in Hong Kong in February. Um, oh yeah, oh yeah, way better than last time. So Carlo, you got to actually see the very first. I was like, let's test it out. Let's let's see it. You know what I mean? And um, yeah, you got to see where it is. So it's much much better. Um, and this is like only my third. So when you saw it was the first time. I did it one time after that, and then this is the third time. And we actually haven't even fed her or worked her out here. So um, so yeah, it's definitely first time. But we'll recall here. Let's see if uh, I can get her right off. Penny here. Good girl. That's calmer. Sit. And I don't like this, so I will back up. Come on. And really try to get that where I don't have to manipulate my body and she just comes in. She does that inside perfectly, but obviously when you have a lot more going on, you have to practice it a little bit more. So that's just stuff that we're working on with her. And um, that is it. We might do a scope. Oh, so anyway, yeah. Um, two floor facility in New York City. Um, I do travel for my work. We have uh, uh, dogs that get sent to us from all over for our board and train program. We also have uh, a lot of things that we offer on social media. So Periscope, obviously, is one of them. We have an Instagram page, which is pretty awesome, I think. I think um, our Facebook page, a lot of free information. Um, our YouTube channel, a lot of more edited videos, as well as Dog Behavior Question Tuesday. Dog Behavior Question Tuesday is awesome, so if you guys have questions on anything related for your personal dog, a dog that you're training, client dog, you you're wanna get into training, you wanna know about business and how we charge, and whatever it is, um, happy to offer that advice. You can ask those questions here at the end. I usually do a Q&A, or you can go to you can watch all the free information that we provide on our YouTube Dog Behavior Question Tuesday. This episode coming up, I think, is like 21 that we're going to film for and hopefully get it out tonight. Um, but you can ask your questions and actually have them answered on the show. You ask your questions on our Instagram page, right? So that's pretty much it. Um, hope you guys enjoy that. I really, really appreciate the hearts. The hearts kind of match the hat today, so I'm digging that for sure. Um, yeah, yeah, I, I'm not sure if you asked them. I think I think you might have asked them. We're, we're going we're gonna to film them. Uh, right about now and, and get those all answered for you guys um, and we'll have a couple of the dogs that are in our board and train program for dog aggression, human aggression, whatever, they'll be up in the room just holding a place or something like that. Um, what we'll do is we'll do a little mini socialization prior to placing them. Just want to fill you guys in. I'll see you guys in the next scope.